When you think of Vanderbilt baseball, which places come to mind? The Hawk, Hoover, Omaha, the podium, the show. Over the last 20 years, as a Commodore nation, we've become accustomed to these venues. But the truth is, when Tim and Maggie Corbett arrived at Vanderbilt two decades ago, Vanderbilt baseball was in a very different place. So let's rewind for a moment and enjoy the journey from then to now, from there to here. June 25th, 2002, a small four paragraph note in the Area Digest on page 2C of the Tennessean announces that Vanderbilt has hired a Clemson assistant named Tim Corbett as the university's new baseball coach. The tradition of the school it was, the, was the number one thing academically, the facilities, the city, everything about it felt like home to me and I, I would just, uh, it, it felt good when I came here and it felt good when I was driving away and I think when you get that good gut feeling it, it means something. The article notes the Commodores are coming off five straight losing seasons and no winning seasons in SEC play since 1980. Remember 1980? All of that, the last time Vanderbilt had a winning season and the last time the Commodores had made an NCAA tournament, one of just three tournament appearances in school history at that point. Again, Tim Corbin arrived at a very different spot in Vanderbilt baseball's history. But, he had high expectations for this program. He knew he could take it to a different place, a better place. Almost immediately, things began to change. The pitch. Scott launches it to right, looking up, drifting back, get it! Get out of here! Yes! When yes! Worth Scott hammered one of the most memorable Commodore home runs over the right field fence on the season's final day in 2003, Vanderbilt completed a sweep of Tennessee and qualified for the SEC tournament for the first time in seven years. We visualized it, knew it could happen, and just had to believe it was gonna happen. A year later, in 2004, we got a glimpse of even bigger things that were possible on West End. Led by All-Americans Jeremy Sowers and infielder Warner Jones, Vanderbilt posted the first 40-win season in school history made its first NCAA tournament appearance in 24 years and advanced to a super regional for the first time ever. The foundation continued to be built in 2005 and 2006. A couple of highly touted recruits, David Price of Murfreesboro, Tennessee, and Pedro Alvarez of Washington Heights in New York City chose Vanderbilt. It turned heads in Nashville and across the college baseball community. When the 2016 advanced to the NCAA tournaments, it began a streak of 16 consecutive trips to the postseason. That streak is still going on and remains the longest active streak in the SEC. 2007 was magical. David Price was a dominant left-handed starter and racked up nearly every national award. Three other players were consensus All-Americans, and Corbin was named the SEC Coach of the Year after leading Vanderbilt to a school record 54 wins. Shutdown reliever Casey Weathers was named National Stopper of the Year and was drafted eighth overall by the Colorado Rockies. And Hawkins Field hosted its first ever NCAA Regional, a bid that did end in heartbreak to Michigan. The team's unprecedented success led to dramatic improvements at Hawkins Field. Outfield seats were added in 2009, doubling the stadium seating capacity and making it possible, should the team earn the right, for Vanderbilt to host a Super Regional. In 2010, the Commodores pulled an electric win like no other in program history in the bottom of the 10th inning in the NCAA Regional Championship game at Louisville. Connor Harrell executed one of the most thrilling plays in baseball, a game-winning suicide squeeze fun to send the Baby Boys to a Super Regional for just the second time ever. In training sessions leading up to the 2011 season, the Commodores again set their sights on Omaha, where brand new TD Ameritrade Park 
was set to host the College World Series for the first time ever. After winning 20 SEC games, going 44-9 overall, hosting a regional. Drill! Right field! Could it be? Oh, it is! And a super regional for the first time. The Vandy boys made history, making it to this new piece of hallowed ground. That ball's hit deep to left, down the left field line. Becoming the first player in the new ballpark to hit a home run. We'd seen the top of the mountain, and we wanted nothing more than to come back and plant our flag. In 2012, it was a run to the championship game of the SEC tournaments. They have done everything possible in this inning. A triple steal. After a run to the championship game of the 2012 SEC tournaments, a remarkable 2013 season. It was the first on Hawkins Field's new synthetic turf, and it brought the first of three consecutive 50-win seasons and the best SEC record in the history of the conference, an unbelievable 26-3. And, and then, 2014, we found ourselves right to the corner, to the wall, that ball is gone! Where? The delivery, swing and a miss, strike three! We want it to be. Dreams do come true! The celebration begins in Commodore Nation. The ultimate dog pile in Omaha. Vanderbilt, national champions. Has a nice ring to it, does it? by National Player of the Year, Dansby Swanson. Swanson makes the play. Look at this throw. Are you kidding me? And National Pitcher of the Year, Carson Fulmer. We were back in Omaha the next year in 2015, marking the program's first back-to-back -back appearances in the College World Series Final. Our path seemed to be paved with good fortune, but tragedy struck in 2016 when on the eve of the NCAA Regional Finals at the Hawk, freshman Donnie Effort passed away. Donnie's classmates were determined to stay the course and win a championship in his honor. The 2018 season brought more postseason triumph, including a nine-homer game at the Clemson Regional and a Super Regional win back at the Hawk against Mississippi State. It all set the table for an historic season in 2019 in what would have been Donnie's senior year when the Commodores racked up an SEC record 59 wins, the most important of which all came during a magical postseason run. First, an incredible come from behind victory in Hoover. Ripped up the middle, Vandy walks him off and the Commodores have won the SEC title. Then a night to remember at the Hawk. In Nashville. Yeah! He did it! A no-hitter! Kuma Rocker! Even more unbelievable moments in Omaha. Center field, DeMarco. There to make the catch. And for the second time in five years, the Vandy Boys were national champs. Too good to be true. Too good to be true. With sophomore Kamar Rocker and freshman Jack Leiter on the mound in 2020, the Commodores appeared destined for another great ride, ranked number one in the preseason polls. But this journey ended abruptly as COVID-19 shut down the college baseball season after just 18 games. With the pair of All-American right-handers back on the mound in 2021. Jack Leiter's moment is here and now a Vanderbilt no-hitter. And Coach Corbin freshly inducted into the American Baseball Coaches Association Hall of Fame. The Vandy boys returned to Omaha for the fifth time, advancing all the way to the championship series for the fourth time in school history. One and two, slow roller, it's through. Jason Gonzalez will win it in the bottom of the 12th. Oh, he sounded over his head. The Cardinals are going to lose on a wild pitch. Vanderbilt alive. 
last season brought more success, including an 18-game winning streak, another NCAA regional appearance, another first-round draft pick. The New York Yankees select Spencer Jones, an outfielder from Vanderbilt University. More graduates and another top-ranked recruiting class. So now, here we are in a very different place from when this remarkable voyage began in 2003. Over these last 20 incredible seasons, we've seen 841 victories, 54 All-Americans, 31 Freshman All-Americans, eight Golden Spikes Award finalists, three SEC Pitchers of the Year, three SEC Freshmen of the Year, two SEC Players of the Year, two National Coach of the Year awards, 138 Major League draft picks, including 21 first round selections, 29 Major League players, 17 NCAA tournament bids, five trips to Omaha, and two national championships. It all adds up to one incredible program like nothing we've ever seen in college baseball. The consistency of a staff with deep roots on West End. A coaching tree whose branches have extended to other top programs nationwide. A network of former players and coaches in leadership positions on and off the field throughout Major League Baseball. The focus, the attention to detail, and the energy of this program have taken us to places never before thought possible. And we're not done yet. Where will Tim Corbin and the Vandy Boys go in 2023 and beyond? The joys in the journey and the destination. We're so glad you're along for the ride. Anchor down.